Unfortunately for Firefox lovers, there's still no built-in tool for syncing extensions between separate computers running Firefox. Instead, here's how to do it using the popular file syncing tool Dropbox. Assuming you have Dropbox installed on all the computers you're running Firefox on, you can sync your Firefox profile and extensions in two ways. You can either add your Firefox profile folder to your Dropbox folder, or you can run a portable version of Firefox from your Dropbox folder. Firefox Portable is the most pain-free option. You just download, drag, and drop Firefox Portable anywhere into your Dropbox folder. The catch is it's only going to work with Windows computers. Syncing your entire profile folder using Dropbox takes a little more work to set up, but it works with Windows, Mac, and Linux. Here's how the setup works. First, you want to open Firefox's Profile Manager and create a new profile. If you're on a Windows machine, just hold the Windows key, then press R. Inside, type firefox.exe-p and hit enter. Once you've opened Profile Manager, click the Create Profile button. Once inside, enter a new profile name. I'm going with Synced Firefox. And then choose the folder that you want to store the profile in. Uh, as I said earlier, we are going to put it in our Dropbox folder. So you're going to navigate to My Documents, My Dropbox, and inside Dropbox I'm putting in a folder called Syncing, and I'm going to put a new folder inside there called Firefox Synced. When I'm done, I'm going to click Finish and then Start Firefox with my new profile selected. As you can see, Dropbox is now syncing all of my profile files. At this point, you'll want to wait a few minutes to let that finish. Now I'm going to walk through the same process on Firefox on my Mac. So first I need to launch the profile switcher or the profile manager and to do that on a Mac it's a little bit harder. The easiest way to do it, the way I prefer to do it, is by installing this profile switcher Firefox extension and then you just get a handy link to open the profile manager. Click it and you'll see this window. Uh, at this point you're just going to do the same thing you did before. Click create profile, name your profile and same way you're going to choose your folder. This time instead of creating a new folder you are just going to go to your Dropbox account and choose the same folder that you just synced to. So after you've chosen that click done and start Firefox. And there is my new Firefox profile on this computer synced with my Windows computer. Now let's test it out. To give it a test, I'm going to install one of my favorite Firefox extensions called FlashBlock. Uh, it blocks all Flash on websites by default unless you enable it. So let's go ahead and install. Okay, and to finish the installation, we'll go ahead and restart Firefox. Now let's test it out by going to Lifehacker. Okay, so this post should have a video in it, and as you can see, uh, FlashBlock is working. So let's quit this and head over to our Windows installation. This time we're going to start up our synced Firefox profile on Windows. If all went correctly, if we visit the same page on Lifehacker, the video will be blocked by default. And there we go. As you can see, the extension seamlessly synced between my installations without any problems.